Edmontonians have been waiting a long time for the Southeast Valley Line LRT to open. It's been in the testing phase for more than a year, but drivers and some pedestrians are running into some troubles. Since November 2022, the train has been involved in 10 collisions. Of those, six involved drivers making illegal turns on a red light. One driver made an illegal right turn, two involved collisions between the train and a pedestrian, and one happened during a police chase. And it's not hard to spot incidents like this along the 13-kilometer route. I went outside the CBC studios in downtown Edmonton, and in only an hour, I spotted several illegal left turns. With the train set to open soon, I wanted to see how cities with similar transit lines dealt with their growing pains, and how long it took drivers to adapt. The same issues that everybody else has as far as street running and uh, people not paying attention, turning in front of the train, driving into the side of the train. Um, it's just amazing. Dwayne Sayers has worked on transit lines across the U.S. and currently works for Denver Regional Transit, a similar system to Edmonton's. They have one intersection in particular that's had more than 60 crashes. So now they're working to bring in a new signaling system to address the problem. As things get going in Edmonton, he says, don't be afraid to change things up. Really take a hard look at your signal, you know, interfaces, uh, what you can do, you know, look at queue jumping and see if that will, if that would work. Get the train ahead of the cars. Uh, take away their options, you know, again, with the, with the arrows uh, versus just the regular round green light. Are we confusing people with the amount of signs or the number of signs? And the testing phase is just a taste of what's to come when the Valley Line is fully operational. But transit expert David Cooper says that regularity may help drivers learn, but it will take some time. We will never fully know until the system's operational, but once it is, you take one trip on the train, you, you drive by the train, you, inter you interact with it in the intersections the first time, then you'll get it. If you follow the signs as a pedestrian and follow the signs as a motorist, you will have zero problems with the LRT. So what can you do? Well, watch out for the trains, watch out for signage, and that should keep you on track. Emily Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Edmonton.